La Voix Humaine was originally a play written by Jean Cocteau in the 1950s, and it was adapted by Francis Poulenc onto the operatic stage for his favourite soprano, Denise Duval. In terms of opera libretti, it's uh, really rather unique because the whole drama takes place, or is, a phone conversation, and one in which we only ever hear one side. The piece begins with a woman evidently waiting for a phone call. When the telephone does ring, various crossed lines ensue, no doubt uh, Cocteau giving a dig at the less than perfect Parisian phone service, and she can't get through to the person she wants to talk to. But ultimately, she does. She's talking to someone. A lover? An ex-lover? The conversation develops, but we as the audience only ever hear her words. The orchestra, in fact, becomes the man to whom she's talking. But we work out that things are not going well. The relationship is not on an equal footing. In fact, there's been a breakup. In fact, she's been traded in for a younger model. In fact, she's taken an overdose. The woman's mental disintegration, as at times she cajoles, flirts, lies, and ultimately pleads with this ex-lover, is laid bare for us all to witness. And uh, the sense of voyeurism made even more clear as we're eavesdropping on this totally private conversation. And yet we're powerless to prevent her final collapse. In the original production, at least, the woman winds the cord of the phone line round and round her neck and ultimately strangles herself to death. 